I've been seeing for a few years now more and more videos about neural networks, machine learning and things like that. I always thought those things were amazing but there's no way I could do it, right? Well recently a YouTuber I love called Sebastian Lag, I think, made a video showing his journey to making a neural network and it motivated me to try myself. His explanations are really good so I won't even bother explaining how things work because he already did it much better than I could ever do it. So if you're interested in learning how it works, check out his video. Now, it is important to note that Sebastian was nice enough to publicly share his code in Demo. However, I don't just want to copy and paste it, I actually want to type it and understand how it works to be able to expand and use that later. So first, what I did was look through a bunch of blogs and videos explaining things related to neural networks. I learned what things like weights, biases and things like that mean. Then I rewatched Sebastian's video and tried to follow the explanations and the code he put on the screen. I made sure to take notes, write comments, anything to help me understand. Everything was very clear and easy to understand because of that research I did beforehand. So, in only a few hours, I managed to make and understand a very basic neural network. You can see I feed it a list of two inputs and outputs. The way I wrote that list is simply a list of two random numbers for the inputs and the output as 0, 1 if the first input multiplied by the second is less than 15, otherwise it has 1, 0. Of course, the neural network doesn't know that rule, so it uses the training data to adjust its weights and biases and then I can input the numbers that I want and it gives me a result. If I put in 2 and 5 the result is 10 which is less than 15 so it should give me 0, 1. You can see the longer I let it train the closer it gets to 0, 1. If I put in 6 and 5 multiplying them gives 30 so the result quickly come close to 1, 0. And even if I put 1 on the limit, such as 3 and 5, it still ends up getting it right. Then I tried setting my training data as a list of randomly generated numbers, and whether my expected output for training was true or not based on an operation, like if a plus b is greater than 7. Then I trained my network around a thousand times using the training data, and I could test input numbers on the screen. Turns out it was really close to the right answer a lot of the time, but the furthest I'd go away from the middle, the worse it got. I think that's because the network wants to be right most of the time. So if 95% of the training data is false in output, if the network just says false all of the time, it will be 95% right. I think because of that, it doesn't even bother trying to find the right result, it just always says false. I wonder if I can fix that. Anyway, that's what I ended my day 1 with. That's a lot of progress for one day. On day 2, I decided to implement the backpropagation by following the rest of Sebastian's video. Unfortunately, some parts of the codes were missing in the video, causing everything to fail for me. So I checked out his project's files, but sadly he added a bunch of new things that I didn't understand so I didn't want to copy them. Instead, I had to dig into his project and see how he did some things, understand the idea of it and then fix my code using that. I would rather have a slower and simpler algorithm that I understand than a crazy advanced one with a lot of features that I don't understand. So after a bit of copying, pasting, fixing, removing some things I didn't get, I finally had it working. I can now go through much more training data much faster. But it's kind of hard to test it with this project, so I made a quick bird game. You just have to click to jump and avoid the pose. Now I imported my neural network to this project. The problem that I have is that I have no training data for this game. My first thought was to make the network record what I do as I play and then learn from it. So I added a way to save training data and network data in a file so I don't have to restart every time and then recorded myself playing as training data and saved it. Then I trained the AI using the data of me playing for 5000 iterations. The result was surprisingly good for so little iterations, but it was still far from good. 
the highest score it got was 4. And most of the moves it did seemed somewhat random. It obviously didn't know what to do. I added a display on screen that shows from 0 to 1 how much the AI wants to jump. For now, I made it jump if it has over 65% certainty it should jump. Now I trained it for many more iterations, around 50,000, but I got very little improvement. It got a best score of 9, but it looked like it got it mostly from luck. I think that's because up to now I only used the distance to both of the poles as inputs. But really, whether the pole is 1.5 above or below the bird is very important. So I recorded my whole system to record and use as inputs the distance in X and Y to the bottom pole. This way the AI can now learn that it needs to jump when the bottom pole is above the bird and within a range or something like that. Now with the new X and Y training data, I trained the AI again for 5000 iterations and... Wow, the jumps are very clean. It looks very calculated unlike before. However, the AI always drops too fast. Let's try with 5000 more iterations of learning. Wow, with only one game of 50 score of training data and 10,000 iterations of learning, the neural network was able to understand how the game is played and play it with totally randomized pole heights. That's completely crazy. Now let's try without any new data or training to make the poles speed up over time and see if the AI can adapt. Okay, so it's able to handle a bit of speed but not too much because the game doesn't really allow you to drop a large distance or go up a large distance at this speed, so it's not really the AI's fault. It's so crazy to me to think that so little data and a few seconds of training is enough for the AI to learn how to play. Even though it's a very simple game, it's also crazy to me how little code is needed to make a basic neural network. I was literally able to make a neural network and make it learn how to play Flappy Bird from watching me in two days. In the future, I'd like to make some sort of reward-based learning to make my bird learn to play the game by itself without any training data of me playing first, just by doing trial and errors and learning this way. However, unfortunately, Sebastian has not made a video on that or added that to his project, so I will need to figure this out myself. Stay tuned if you're interested. And thanks for watching.